Bonjour readers, I'm feeling a bit Frenchy today, even though this book has got nothing to do with France. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing multiple Goosebumps books, and out of all of them, one of them is my favorite. These Goosebumps books have been written by R. L. Stein, the dude with the black hair, black eyeglasses, and black suit. I have read seven of his books, even though he has written millions of books. I'm going to take my seven books and quickly review them and in the end of the video I'm going to tell you guys which one is my favorite book. So now I have seven books and I am going to review them one by one. First up is The Haunted Car. There's a kid named Mitchell who can't resist sitting in his car but he didn't know that it was gonna be a scary ride. Second up is The Blob That Ate Everyone. There's a kid named Zack who buys an old typewriter from an old antique shop and whatever he writes on the typewriter comes true and Zack is a person who wants to write horror. Third up is Who's Your Mummy? Abby and Peter go to spend a weekend with their uncle in Egypt but there's a mummy that lurks in their houses at midnight but where does the mummy go in daylight? Fourth up is How I Met My Monster. It is about this kid Noah who discovers that his neighbor goes to the same school as him and he wants to become a friend with his neighbor but there's something suspicious about him, maybe some overgrown hair. Fifth up is The Scream of the Haunted Mask. Carly Beth doesn't know what to become for Halloween but this strange mask keeps on calling out to her and I must say this mask is pretty mad at something. Sixth is Say Cheese and Die Screaming. Julie finds a weird camera in an old and abandoned factory and whoever is in a picture with that taken with that camera, uh, a bad future awaits them. And the last book, The Werewolf of Favor Swamp, which is a coincidence because this is my favorite book. And I have three reasons why it's my favorite book. Reason number one is because the story is fascinating. It's about the swamp that if anyone enters the swamp and exits it, he will have a fever. After a few days, he will start getting hairier. And after a few weeks, he will be turned into a fully grown werewolf. Reason number two is because it talks about the most famous mythical creature, the werewolf. And reason number three is because Arl Stein has written this book really well. It's gripping every time I read it and I have read it at least three times now. That's why I rate this book a 5 out of a 5. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, well, what are you waiting for? Go hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell and also drop a like on this video. Stay tuned because in my next video, I am going to be reviewing And the Mountains Echoed. Au revoir.